Hello everybody, how's it going today? Superfiend here and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. It's been a few days, a little while since I've been able to hop in and play this. Been pretty busy, excited to get back into it. Uh, before we get started over here, whoops. No, 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 the video just uh, blacked out because I had to click over onto a notepad file on the other screen. Why did I do that? Because some of you have been so kind to give me name suggestions for our adventures. Now, uh, Tad Owen really went out and found a whole bunch of names. And then Daniel Olson, Olson sorry, uh, recommended a few names. And Daniel's name suggestions are for the original party. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to apply those now. And then if I have time this episode, I'll use some of the ones from Tad Owen. He's got some really good ones. Uh, but if I don't get Tad's in this episode, then I'll get him in next episode. But with Reynold the Crusader, we are going to go ahead and rename this guy here. Do, 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 do. Okay, so this is from Daniel. Uh, he is going to be named Henry the Faithful. I don't know if it's all going to fit. Oh, it does fit. Look at that. Very lovely. So there's Henry the Faithful. Uh, Leper, Richard the Unfortunate. That's probably too long. That's probably too long. Let's see if we can do this here. Richard the Unfortunate. Richard the Unfortunate. Oh, it's not going to work. You know what? We're going to have to use this guy's unfortunate nickname. <laughs> Dick the Unfortunate. Oh, no! Uh, how about Richard the Unlucky? Richard the Unlucky. No, it won't work. <laughs> okay, we're going to turn this one on its head. Sorry, Daniel, they don't fit. The Unlucky Dick, <laughs> as opposed to the Unlucky Richard. And let's see, the Vestal shall now become Kate the Repentant. Oh, I don't think that's going to fit. We've already used Wildfire, the caster, so Uri is going to be renamed to... Kate the Repentant. Oh, that fit. Uh, I hope that's spelled right. I'm not doing any spell checking on these suggestions. And so we got um, Richard's alias. We got Kate. We got Henry. Oh, and then another Kate suggestion for a Plague Doctor. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this for the Plague Doctor. That's uh, crazy. And we'll try to heal them if we can. Kate the Curious. Okay. So those four are from Daniel Olson. Thank you very much, Tad. Uh, if we have time this episode, I'll use some of the ones that, sh that you suggested. I love them. They're great. Uh, I can't wait to use them. And then I was looking in our possible adventures, and I really think that either this one or this one in the Warrens are where we want to go. Clear a path to the boss progress. Okay. And the reason why is because they both give five deeds as reward. We're relatively low on deeds, and I'd like to get some deeds so we can do some upgrades. Before we pick out our party and do all that, let's pop back over here. We do have a free building upgrade. Now, I already went through. I looked at all the buildings, and I'm inclined to think that I should use the free upgrade on this because as you move further right on the building slots, they get more and more expensive. And, um, I mean, this is like in terms of tier, you know, this is tier three. So this is probably relatively expensive. These maybe don't cost as much because they're only tier two upgrades. I'm not interested in the bonfire thingy here. And I don't think I need to do the tavern or the abbey. I don't think I need to upgrade the Nomad Wagon for extra trinkets, although six extra or two extra trinkets from here could give us pretty good trinkets every turn. But um, I really do want to uh, remove diseases and lock uh, good quirks in place and remove bad quirks. So I think I'm going to go for tier three of the treatment library. This gives a reduction in positive quirk and negative quirk treatment by 10%. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we can see that this is uh, 16 out of 10 or 16, um, these are busts. Yeah, 16 busts, 10 crests. We get lots of crests. This increases the number of medical ward slots to two. That's down here. And then we probably would not have enough busts to get the second one, which I think increases the treatment ward slots by, by one. Uh, so we'd have two and two. So I wanna wait till we get more busts before we do any more upgrades in there. But I do want to throw some people in here uh i think that henry the faithful may come with us on our next mission and i think i might bring the abomination and you know what tad had a good suggestion for the abomination mark 
Ruffalo! <laughs> I love that. That's really good. So we might bring the Abomination. So then what left do we need to bring? Wildfire, the caster, probably. Kate needs to de-stress a little bit. And we haven't brought... Well, maybe, maybe bring the Antiquarian back out again for increased... Uh, treasure in and all that stuff, but it is a long dungeon and so being a long dungeon You know our inventory is gonna fill it pretty quick I think maybe the antiquarian is probably really good for really quick short runs Where you don't need a lot of supplies with somewhat leveled up adventures and you just like blitz through the dungeon very fast uh, We haven't done anything with uh, this guy down here. So if we're gonna bring Henry and Mark Ruffalo. Let's uh, let's unlock some skills with Mark Ruffalo. This is the guild. Let's throw him in here. Everything's unlocked. Uh, we can't upgrade anything because he hasn't leveled up yet. So he's just kind of stuck where he is, huh? Yeah. So I think we're gonna bring him. Now let's go ahead and find somebody who's got like really bad traits that maybe we want to get rid of while we're off doing this stuff. Fear of Beasts, Unquiet Mind, eh. No, I don't think we want to focus on you. Uh, maybe we want to lock Faded in place on, on the Unlucky Dick here, the Leper. Chance to turn any miss into a hit. Let's do that. So we're going to pop into here. We're going to uh, throw him in. We are going to lock this in place for 5,200. That is awfully expensive, but let's do that. Yay. And then we have some people that are too stressed out. We need to give them something to do. Can we put you in over here anywhere? He can only gamble. Is that his deal? In town, we'll only gamble. So we have a chance to lose money from him, but let's go ahead. Let's de-stress him. Somebody else, I think, is fairly high on stress. Kate the Repentant. Uh, we could spend a thousand for her. We'll probably bring wildfire with us. So that leaves uh, this guy right here to de-stress. Let's um, yeah, let's throw him in here. So we've spent like a ton of money. Now we don't even have a whole lot of money for supplies. Eek. Let's go ahead and get our party ready. I said we're going to bring Henry the Faithful, Mark Ruffalo. We shall bring Wildfire the Caster. She'll go into the back rank. She's all decked out for healing. Uh, maybe we bring True Shot with us. Maybe. Or maybe we bring the Occultist. And the name suggestion for the Occultist from Tad was Jafar, which I also really like. Like these name suggestions. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's bring the occultist out. I don't know how well this group is going to do. Let's, uh, let's backpedal though. Let's upgrade combat skills. Let's throw Jafar in here. Oh boy, we are so low on money. So this is a pull. This is a stun. Clears all corpses too. That's really good. Uh, I kind of like the Hex. I don't want this guy to have this heal. I don't think the heal is very good. Uh, maybe he can... Okay, let's spend a thousand and give him the curse. I'm going to take away this heal. I'm going to give him the curse. I don't know how well this guy's going to do for us when we get in here. But we'll find out. Uh, I also have a tendency to forget to equip trinkets, so let's do that right now. Let's go ahead and sort by rarity. Okay, plus 10% stun skill chance, plus 20 stun resist, minus 4 dodge. Uh, I think we're going to put that on the Vestal. She's only got a little bit of dodge anyways, but uh, she does have a stun. We do use it. So let's give her that. And what else would be good for her? Blight resist, bleed resist. Uh, plus 5% protection, minus 1 speed. She's not going to be moving people around. 
Let's just maybe give her the debuff charm. Okay, let's look at Jafar here. Now, he can move people, so let's give him the move stone. Lowers his speed a little bit. Uh, he's going to be a little weak, so let's maybe give him the protection. Okay, and then let's go to the Crusader here. Minus 50% healing skills. He's not going to be healing. He shouldn't be healing. What are his abilities that we have? Okay, that's good. Then we will give him also... I guess we'll just throw this on him. And then let's go to our Abomination. I don't think he's got any Blight abilities. He does have Blight abilities. Uh, so we'll give him the Blight Trinket here. Lowers the speed a little bit. Okay. So they have the trinkets. We are going to go into 100% room battles. I'm going to do the explore 90% rooms. I think that's just a little bit easier considering that everybody's not um, fully leveled up and whatnot. And let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can do this. We got our holy water. I want to bring one more holy water. Two shovels. Two stacks of food. Stack of torches. Now we're going into the Warrens. Uh, let's bring an anti venom and a medicinal herbs. Oh, and then two keys. Okay, so we've spent like all of our money. Away we go! I'm hoping that we do well here. Now I haven't played in a few days, so I might be a little bit rusty. I might make some mistakes. I hope not. To prosecute our war against the swine, we must first scout their squalid homes. Okay, we must first scout these swallowed homes. Uh, screen's going to go black for one second there. Sorry about that. Okay, let's select our Crusader. In we go. Um, I pressed W. What's, what's going on? Is it not W? What is going on here? Uh, okay, let's see. Let's move to this room. Let's just knock it out. I'm going to ignore all these things. I'll pick them up on the way back if I'm going to deal with them at all. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. That was weird. Pressing W to move into the first room didn't do anything. Okay. Back we go. Back we go. Looking good. Let's not get attacked. No food checks. Uh, let's interact with this with our Crusader. A dinner cart. Uh, I believe if we put this here, it will cure the human remains. It did! It cleanses the meat. Look at that. A full stack of food. I love that. That's so nice. Glad I brought the herbs. All right, off we go. <gasps> We're not going to be backtracking so we can salvage the unburned torch. Yip, yippee. Relatively short hallway here. Battle. Do we have a battle? No. So far, so good. We're not getting any scouting, though. Uh, before I started, I looked through all of the adventurers. Oh, darn. Did I just, like, miss that? I think I'm pretty sure it was invisible. Uh, I scouted all the adventurers to check their quirks and whatnot. I was looking to see if we had people that had scouting or reduced stress in the Warrens. None of them do. So it was kind of like a wash as to who are the best people to take with us on this little adventure here. And so I just decided, um, you know, I wanted to do this quest for the deeds. And then since nobody was really any better than anybody else, I just figured we'll pick whoever. Okay, let's pull the Brigand Fusilier up to the front. Oh, yeah, you're coming up here, buddy. Get up here, bucko. This is our stun right here. Yep. Let's go ahead and stun this dude. Ah, he resists. A harmless poke. It didn't look very harmless, but it didn't do very much damage. So that's fine. Oh, and we get shot. Punishment. Hits us with three with the flail. And inflicts bleed damage. Can't staunch the flow. Manacles is a stun. Beast's bile. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and puke all over these two. Two damage for each of them. Uh, let's just see if we can knock this guy out. Very good. Oh, yeah. I like that. 
The bile comes back. We got a critical bile in the back there, but I don't know if it really did anything. Uh, he's a little low, so I think we need to try to heal him. Healed for six, pretty good. Pops him back up a ways. Punishment on the Crusader. Crits for six, ouch. A little bit of stress, resist the bleed though. So this guy is dead next turn, no matter what. So we can ignore him for the rest of the battle. We're gonna pull you to the front. Moved him up by two. Whopping hit for 10, even without getting a crit. Uh, let's go ahead and try to stun him. We hit for three. He resists again. He's got 50%, so I mean, it kind of makes sense. Weakened curse. Uh, damage. Yeah, okay, let's curse this guy. Let's reduce his damage and everything. And he's marked. Very good. He dies. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Oh dear, stunning blow. Can we get the heal? Yes. And then the blight will kill him. Excellent. So we came out of that pretty good. Oh look, four deeds. And a book of intuition. Minus 20% chance that our party is surprised. Hello. And then the four deeds. That's what we're in here for is deeds. So that's a nice little haul there. Happy with that. Stashed heirlooms. Uh, these are busts. Good. That'll help us with our upgrade that we were looking at before we came in here. Ooh, we got some scouting. We found a trap. Three traps. No room battles ahead of us. 70%, 50%, 50, and 70. She's got the least amount of stress. Uh, since it was a, a successful disarm, it would have been better to do it with the Crusader to lower his stress further. Victory. Let's also not forget that we can camp in this test. run. Um, there is a chance home. that I'll completely forget that we can camp. Okay, which way do we want to go? Which way do we want to go? Let's go to this room here. Okay. Uh, what's your name again? Henry the Faithful. Disarms it. Removes a few stress. Very good. Very good. An empty sack. Let's hope we get some more scouting. We know there's no room battle, so we don't need to light our torch. All right, moving to the next room. Now, Henry does have Klepto, so there is a chance that he'll run up and steal something. We got ourselves a hunger check. We got tons of food, nothing to worry about there. Okay, we don't know if we have a battle in here or not. So far, this is going like super well. It's going great. Let's go down here. Um. Scrawls written on what looks like stretched and tanned human flesh. Icky. Okay, we know it's not the torch. I don't think the venom will do it. Let's try the holy water. Curses. So minus 20 dodge until we camp. That's really bad. Um, thankfully, it's on the crusader, though. Uh-oh. We got a swine chopper, a swine slasher, and a swine wretch. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see if we can get a stun there. Oh, yeah. And did a lot of damage. Let's bring you up. Whee! Hello. Ooh, dodges the judgment. I'm going to get an accusation in here. Six and four. It's their turn to retaliate. Vomits for zero. Stress. And any poison or anything? No poison. A relatively weak hit. Resists the bleed. And just like that, we're ready for more. Let's drop that in the back. Also get a nice little heal out of it. Going for the abomination. Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> Take some damage, but we resist the bleed. A puke. Stress. Ugh. What does this do? I've never transformed with the abomination. Oh, yeah, he can heal himself and reduce stress. You know what? Let's just do that. And boom. Kills one. The other one is weak. Let's lower his damage and everything with a hex. Gets him nice and marked. Although we don't have anybody that can benefit from the mark. Let's go for the stun. Well struck. 
Drops him down to six health. Lowers some stress amongst two party members. Let's curse him some more with Jafar, the occultist. Um, I want to do some healing, so I'm just going to hit the corpse. And let's go ahead and heal up Mark Ruffalo. Yeah, let's just smack him. <laughs> Resist the stun, that's fine. Let's call in a party heal. Now, if we manage to swing first, we might be able to kill him. Uh-oh, let's hex him. All right, so his damage should be incredibly low. He's still hit for four. Not bad. Okay. Bam, 13. Out you go. Okay, we push up here. We got a bleed on him. That's okay. Not worried about that. Oh, no. Carrion Eater, a Swine Drummer, and the Swine Wretch. Let's see. Let's um, let's go for Judgment on the Drummer. Man, that was a big hit for eight. Let's bring him forward. And we'll introduce you to possibly our Crusader. Uh, I'm going to stun one of these guys, the one that's a little bit further back. Bam! 23. Out you go. That was a big hit. Reduces some stress for our party as well. I love it when it plays out that way. Uh-oh. Are we diseased? I think we're now diseased. Tetanus. Now, we may have had that coming in. I can't remember. But it reduces our accuracy and our crit. So, blah. Uh, but you know what? Where's my judgment? That one didn't hit for nearly as much. Uh, but it brings her health up to full. They're going after the Crusader. He's got good protection and everything. He's okay. The vomit. Oh, man. They diseased her again. They're getting really lucky with those. Beasts, bile, blah. Oh, ha, they resist everything. Darn. Hands from the abyss. What does this do? Why can I not use this? Oh, I got to be in the uh, front two ranks. Okay. Well, let's see. Who does damage? Damage mod, crit mod. Do these guys have high protection? They don't seem to have any protection. Uh, minus 15 dodge. Let's throw that back here on that guy. That brings his dodge all the way down to zero. Uh, how many turns does that last? Three turns. Three turns. Zealous accusation. Surges as the enemy crumbles. They're piling on the blight. Oh man, we're just getting diseased left and right in here. This is terrible. Let's get that self heal for three. Remove a little bit of stress. Throw a curse over there on the lead carrion eater. They're gonna munch. Ooh. But he only crit for four, so with the damage reduction, he's a lot weaker. Oh, let's see here. Let's throw that in the back. Give ourselves a big chop. I know it's not called chop, it's called smite. Crits for two. Oh, God, man, he's getting all stressed out. That sucks. Need the healing there. Can be healed, but never hidden. Ooh, that was a whopping hit for five. Oh, hello. And we have all the room to carry everything. They can be beaten. Uh, makeshift dining table. An oddly assembled dining table. There might still be food scraps around. I'm pretty certain we need to use the medicinal herbs on this. 
So you know what? Um, search the table. The meat is not fully cooked. <laughs> oh my god, now she's got tapeworm. Oh dear. She's got tetanus, the egg, the og, the egg. Uh, plus 100% food consumed. That's just lovely. Well, this was a terrible room. Absolutely horrid. <laughs> we need to upgrade our... Uh, I can't remember the name of the building, but the one that allows us to cure diseases and stuff because uh, this dungeon is really laying it on thick for us. Let's go up here. Yeah, we'll end up backtracking. I know, it's fine. I'm having fun. Hunger check. We still got 29 food, so we got plenty of food. We know there's no battle ahead of us, so we're cool. Oh, we got some scouting. Okay, we know there's a battle in the upcoming hallway here. And the books. Stack of books. Books are always iffy. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. 31 stress. That's okay. He can heal his own stress. We'll be able to heal some stress when we camp, too. Okay, we won't be backtracking through here, so we'll just take whatever we see. 500 if gold. Only treasure could staunch the flow I don't want to get surprised. Corruption. Oh, great. We got a madman. Madman amongst the ranks. Pulls him up. Very good. Let's get that bile in there. Madman dodges. He's got really high dodge. He didn't dodge that, though. Oh, that could have been the one that got him out of there. And if he hadn't have dodged the bile, he would have died from the poison. So, Oh, my gosh. Another disease. And he flings stress all over the party. Hook where it hurts. I can only imagine where that is. Hook where it hurts. Oh boy, he's gonna be loose as a goose. <laughs> oh no! Get out of here with all that stress. Vomit. Uh, let's go for the bile again. Blah. Two damage. Oh good, he dies. Thank you for that, finally. Unforgiving. Uh oh. They can't touch the sides on Henry the Faithful, so now they're going after Jafar with that. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, boy. Oh, that was good. We got both of them. That worked well. Uh, let's clear the corpses and pull this guy forward. Oh god, he killed him. I wasn't really expecting that at all. Very good. Take everything. What is this? Push on to the tasks. Ooh, 10% damage range skills for the highwaymen. Okay. Uh, we got lots of food. So let's go ahead and one, two, three, four. There we go. That's good. Now uh, we know there's no room battle here. I think it's time to camp. Uh, no, you know what? Let's not camp yet. Uh, let's push up. Heirlooms. I should have camped. Damn it. Um, yeah, I don't have enough room. I got it. I'm down to two torches. That's not very good. Um, you know what? It's going to be fully lit As the light gains purchase, after we camp. Spirits um, are lifted okay. And purpose is made clear. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I... <laughs> I walked right into the trap. I knew it was there. His efficacy unwitnessed oh. by his own eyes. No! He's paranoid! That kind of makes sense for Mark Ruffalo. He always is a little bit paranoid that his inner beast is going to come out. Oh, boy. I screwed up with the trap. I knew it was there. And I didn't disarm it. I shouldn't should have disarmed it. Okay, let's go ahead and camp here. A moment of respite. Uh, yeah, let's eat 10 food. That heals everybody up, takes away a bit of stress. Use your camping skills. Okay, so what does she do? Heal, remove bleeding, remove blight, blah. Um, a chant. If religious, minus 20% stress. Four battles. If religious, minus 15 stress. Pray. 
Okay, I think the abomination is religious. Divine light, pure as grace, be with us now. It should be minus 15, right? Dude, he resisted it? Aw, oh, you. You jerk. That's blah. Uh, all companions plus seven stress. No, thanks. Self only. Reduce torch light by 100. That defeats the purpose of camping. Increase uh, plus 15 stress and remove mortality debuffs. No, we don't need that right now. All right. Eldritch blood. Plus 20 stress, four battles. No, thanks. Self only 20 stress. All companions minus 10. No, thanks. Uh, party minus 15 stress. Okay, so this is 5, 8. Darn, that would be 10. Zealous speech. Okay, that worked for him. Minus 15. Minus 15, and then we take a nap. If we could get him down to zero, then um, in a mission, then his paranoid thing, his affliction will go away. Oh, great. Now he just stressed everybody out. You ding-a-ling. Our resolve is strong. Secrets Wake up! And they are upon us! In the most it's only spiders! Place. They've shuffled us! Oh dear! Whatever will we do, we shall hit them with the vial. Good job. We dodged the bite. Very good. I guess we'll debuff the one in front. Spitting at the Crusader, Henry the Faithful. Giving him the blight. Holy Lord! Be gone, <laughs> Good hit. Good hit. Uh, judgment in front. God, there's like so much screaming and yelling and stuff in the background. Yeah, it's really quite stress inducing. Give him the blight. And it should die on its next turn. So let's go ahead and just party heal. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. There we go. Weapon that cuts on its own. Uh oh. Running out of inventory. Running out of inventory. Uh, we got 12 food, so we can we can push forward. I want to finish the dungeon. I want to explore everything. Ugh, damn traps. We'll ignore that. We'll pick it up on the way back, assuming that we come back. Uh, no battle. Stashed heirlooms. Oh, yeah. I want to get like a shrine or something that we can use the holy water on and uh, cure this guy. By the way, let's fix our party order. Holy smokes. Oh, see, why couldn't we get positive books with the other dude? They weren't really positive. They just didn't do anything negative. All right. Let's get some good damage here. Um... Let's pull you up. You know, I'm relatively happy with Jafar. He's been pretty good. This mission. He's been quite helpful. Smite for nine. Let's see if our Vestal can finish this dude off. Yes, there we go. No stressful drums for us. Rend for the old gods. Yes, nice dodge. Very good. Stumbling scratch. Ooh, hits for three. Not very much. Okay, I think we're going to throw more bile down. Or, no, he heals himself. Very good. But in fact, how much stress does he have? 37.
Uh, let's just throw that back there. Now he's hugely debuffed. Very low damage. Excellent. Uh, how many more turns do they have Bile? So... Uh, let's go ahead and group heal. If we get some crits on the heals, it will lower stress of this guy, potentially. See if we can stun. Good. I want to draw this out just a little bit. See if we can't get this guy's stress down lower. He's stunned, so we'll put this over here. Reduce his damage. Oh, we accidentally killed him. His blight is removed. Ah, oh, he resists the heal. So did his stress climb back up? No. Critical heal. 11 stress healed. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's wipe this. Oh, darn it. I was going to say, let's finish this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's just debuff him. See if he can't get, cannot get more stress heal. Come on. Ah, he stresses everybody out again. You putts, stop doing that. Oh, another crit. Oh, he's he's down so low. All right, let's um, let's judgment and deal the damage before this guy calls on reinforcements. Ooh. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying. Oh boy. Okay, we know we're on the way to the last room, and there doesn't appear to be an obstacle, so we don't need the shovel. Okay. We are looking good. <gasps> Treasure chest. That's what I wanted. Chris for two is going to increase our stress by 24. Darn. That was really big. Impressive. That was a nice hit, though. Ooh. A little bit of a stress heal for everybody. Blah. Pull this dude up. Yoink. Look at where it hurts. Let's call down our judgment. And then we're going to go for our accu zealous accusation. Darn, that was bad. Ball and chain across the party. Nope, hits just Jafar. Moves him and stuns him. Bummer. And he stresses everybody out again. Uh, throw that in there. So this one should be dead. And if we can get another stun on this one back here, he won't have a chance. Well, he'll have three hit points, so. This guy's got two turns left in him with the blight. Yay, you're dead. Butcher cut. Hits for pretty good damage. Probably going to cause stress. Nope. Decent hit. Uh, let's see. Hit him again. We got plenty of health. Let's go for a stun on the slasher. Very good. Throws out vomit. As he stress out the whole party. Just Henry the Faithful. Mark Ruffalo is the target here. Takes a relatively high hit. Kill off the chopper. He removes his stun in the back there. Let's go ahead and debuff him. Nice big heal. Only removes four stress though. We'll self heal. And we are left with the swine 
Slasher. Hitting our Vestal with a pretty good hit there. Oh, let's, uh... Does he have protection? He's got 25% protection. So let's debuff him and remove 10 of that protection. 10%. Oh, and that should be it for the dungeon. Let's see what our goodies are in the chest. Uh-oh. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Uh, we don't need any more food, so let's... There we go. Unlocked strong box, so we don't need the key. It's trapped. Are you kidding me? Well, we only got the blight, so. All right, cool. We're out of here. The twisting tunnel. We did the whole thing. We didn't do too bad. Impossible. We got a little stressed out on Mark Ruffalo, uh, but we got lots of heirlooms and stuff down here. We picked up 8,600. Which is good because now we only have like 11,000 in our uh, vault back home. We got six deeds, five deeds. So we picked up 11 deeds total. We got four of the crests, two portraits, and 10 busts. Oh boy. We got high chance of negative quirks here and here. So let's see. Ooh, evasive plus five dodge. Not bad. Oh yeah, and then we got absolutely diseased in here. Uh, 20% stress versus humans. Darn, but not terrible. Could be worse. The plume and the pistol. A fitting end to my folly. And a curse upon us all. Oh, look at this. Kate the Curious gained 2,000 gold while gambling. Go, Kate. This seems a little high. Like, we had three or 4,000 when we started the mission... Kate got us two, and then we brought back eight. So where'd, like, the extra five come from? Oh, and she's no longer selfish. Okay, let's look at, um, let's look at Kate. Kate the Curious. So she's no longer selfish? Well, that's cool. I think that was a negative quirk. It doesn't show us what it does here, though. Uh, Kate the Repentant. Had a night on the town and recovered 45 stress. Much reveres. Uh, prayed and recovered 55 stress. <laughs> the unlucky dick had reinforcement therapy to make a a quirk permanent. Fated. Jafar leveled up. Mark Ruffalo leveled up. Okay, so that's like all of our um, important notifications. Let's go ahead here and unequip all trinkets before I forget. We'll sort by rarity. Okay. Uh, before we do anything, let's look at what our next mission might be. And let's sort through our adventures here and start carrying some people. Uh, where might we go next? Uh, we have an apprentice one. Uh, no, this is, this is to kill the necromancer. I don't want to do that yet. I feel it's a little too early. Uh, short... Complete 100% of room battles. This could be relatively easy. Man at arms, increased dodge, reduced stun, and move resist, though, so he could get shuffled around a little bit more. Uh, also, complete 100% of room battles and disease resist 40% for the Plague Doctor. This is veteran level 3. I don't know that we are ready for that. It's short, though. It's short. Uh, Bounty Hunter, plus 30% move resist, plus 20% move skill chance. So this could be good. It's short, 100% of rune battles. Warrens, we have, ooh, 4% crit if torch above 75. 5 dodge if torch above 75. Lowered crit and lowered dodge if torch below 50 and 51. I wonder why it's 50 and 51. But this is medium. Explore 90% of rune battles. We get two busts for that. This looks nice. Plus 20% stun skill chance. Okay. Minus two dodge for the Crusader. Uh, what do we need down here? We need deeds still. So do any of these give us deeds? Because that would also kind of help dictate where we go. Nothing gives us deeds. We have like no chance to get deeds. So then uh, after that, maybe portraits would be good.
best I'm seeing is like two portraits. Yeah, darn. So I don't really know where to go next. Um, I kind of think the Solar Bracer might be not nice. Increased crit and dodge. Throw this on uh, the man at arms when he's doing repost and protection and guard. And then so his repost will have increased chance to crit. He'll have increased chance to dodge while he's guarding somebody. So I kind of think I want to do the explore 90% of rooms in the medium dungeon going back into the warrens. That's kind of what I think I want to do. Uh, but we're not going to do that yet. Um, what would our party be? Okay, so uh, we have to take him out, right? He's, he's too stressed out. Uh, I think we have to take Jafar out. He's too stressed out. I think we need to maybe put Kate the Repentant in for our healing. And then... We could maybe bring our Leper. Yeah, he might be okay to bring out. He might be okay to bring out. Uh, the man at arms would be a good choice too. Uh, let's put the man at arms. Okay, so with the man at arms, we want to pick up guard. This is a huge debuff. Minus five dodge, minus five speed. It hits everybody. And it increases um, chance of crits well marked. And it's a pretty big debuff. Uh, but we want to pick up with him. Retribution. We want retribution. We want this to lower party stress. Do we have a jester yet? Because they lower party stress too. They're pretty good. Uh, I think we're going to bring him and her for certain. Uh, I want to bring out somebody that's... Let's try bringing out the Grave Robber. We're going to leave Jafar. Okay, so she's got Pick to the Face. She's got Lunge. She's got the Flashing Daggers that cause Bleed, right? No, they don't cause Bleed. Um, maybe bring true shot. I think I might want to bring true shot back out. He is pretty good. Here's our bleed. Do we have anybody else that does bleed damage? Like, can we do some stacking of the bleed damage? I want to stack some bleed damage. Now we'll bring true shot. And uh, let's see, true shot. Uh, point blank shot. That does that move him back? It moves him back by one. She might be better up front here. Okay, so I think this is going to be our party for next time. I, I kind of like it. Let's. Equip trinkets. I'm going to get this all set up so that when we come back in the next episode, I just like name people and then off we go. Uh, so for man at arms, 10% uh, stun skill chance, plus 20 stun resist, minus four dodge. No, he's going to be doing guard a lot. So I want him to have dodge. Uh, it'd be nice if I could increase his speed. Do we have anything that increases his speed? Not really. Okay, I'm going to give him increased protection. And we're going to give him minus 20% chance party surprised. He does have a stun, but I don't think we're going to be using it very much. We're going to put the stun onto our Vestal.
She doesn't move anybody. She doesn't have blight. She can't pick up that stuff. Let's give her this as well. And then with True Shot, our highwayman. Yes, 10% damage range skills. Although he's got now a reduced stun resist. He doesn't do blight. So we'll leave him like that. And then now with her. I don't think she moves anybody. I don't know that she causes blight. Uh, let's go. Let's go equip her skills. Let's go fix her skills up. We want to go into the guild, and we're gonna re we're gonna rename her too. Uh, just not right now. Okay. So what do we got here? We have a self buff, cures bleed and blight, increases speed. Okay, that could be good. Poison darts. So is that blight? Yeah, it's. I think it's blight. Two points around for four rounds. Thrown dagger. 25% damage versus marked. I don't think we mark anybody. We don't have the bounty hunter. 20% uh, ooh. 20% damage versus blighted. So you hit with the darts and then you follow up with the blight with the thrown dagger. And that can hit the back ranks if you do that. So that's 20% damage versus blighted. Also gives her increased accuracy. That's pretty good. I, I, I think I kind of like the poison darts and the thrown dagger combo. I'm assuming that the poison darts are blight damage because it doesn't say it says it, it gives um two points around for four rounds and it says blight above it. Maybe that's all supposed to be on one line. I don't know. Uh, I don't know that I want her to have the shadow fade. Okay, flashing daggers. Reduces bleed resist. Lunge. 20% damage versus blighted. And it can not hit the very back rank. And then we have pick to the face. Uh, so I think I'm going to take that off and the self buff off. Do I want lunge? And do I want pick to the face? Uh, I think I'm going to keep lunge in case we get shuffled. And then we'll get... We'll get thrown dagger and poison darts. Okay, so let's get thrown dagger. Poison darts. So we have pick to the face, lunge... Thrown dagger and poison darts. Okay, I think that's good for her. Uh, we can't get anything else. Let's go ahead and let's throw him in here. Do we have anything that we can upgrade? What are we bringing with him? Uh, we want to make sure that we have guard equipped. So that's our buff. That's our repost. I want to get guard. So... Uh, this moves him forward by one. I want to keep this in case we get shuffled. Uh, I could take away the gigantic party buff here. Oh boy, but that takes away our, our stress and, and all the dodge and stuff. But you know what? If we got him guarding, I could take away Crush. Uh, then this guy won't be doing any damage at all. Oh, this is so tough. Okay, you know what? Uh, we could do this from all ranks. This is from all ranks. And this is from all ranks. So let's, let's take off this. I'm going to do something really screwy here. I'm going to get... Let's go full support with this dude. Okay. I'm going to take off the stun. He's going to have retribution, guard. Do we want Bellow?
Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna pick up Bellow. So we got a um we got a party dodge and stress reducer. We got guard with increased protection. We got retribution for the repost. And then we have a big debuff for the whole party. So he's not really gonna be a damage dealer except once he's guarding, right? How long does guard last? Uh, it doesn't say. I think the repost lasts for two turns. Uh, but in any case, that's his skills. Okay, he's all he's all figured out. All right, true shot. What are your skills going to be? You're you're going to be in the third rank. So I want to get the grape shot. Uh, twenty five percent damage versus marked. So I want pistol shot for for certain. I don't think I need the bleed. Uh, let's. Let's throw him in here. Let's see. I want to be able to advance. And let's get the grape shot and the pistol shot. So then we have wicked slice and point blank shot. I don't know that he's ever going to end up in front, but it does pretty good damage. Uh, so we're going to have with him. We're gonna have grape shot, pistol shot, a duelist advance, and point blank shot. And then Kate. Kate's good with what she has here. So let's just upgrade whatever we need to. Bam, 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 and bam. Okay. So we've got our trinkets. Our party is figured out. Now, how much money do we have? 9,500? Let's go over to our, our camping. Are we gonna be doing, I can't remember, is it a long one? We're going back into the Warrens. Medium and medium. Yeah, so we will be camping. So let's uh let's go in here. Ah, oh, 1700, so expensive. Why is it so expensive? Ah, uh, let's see. Party plus 10 dodge plus 5 crit. That's pretty good. Self only. Um for one companion. Let's get Let's get that. Okay. And then, oh boy, we're running out of money. Ah, uh, no, I can't do anymore because I got to spend stuff over here. Darn it. Okay, we need to cure people. Uh, wildfire, you are massively diseased. Okay, minus five accuracy, minus 5% crit. Damage speed. Okay, we're going to get rid of that one. That one's especially bad. Uh, somebody who has something that we want to lock into place. Mark Ruffalo. The unlucky dick. Natural eye. Uh, let's lock this in place. Warren's Adventure. Five thousand. We wouldn't be able to do anything afterwards. Okay, I don't think I can afford to lock anything in place because I spent a bunch of money. Uh, we could try to de-stress somebody. Mark really needs it. That's a thousand. Uh, we're gonna hold off. You know what? I'm not gonna spend any more money. So this is what we're gonna do when we come back in the next one. We're gonna be going either for the ninety percent of rooms or the hundred percent of room battles. I'm inclined to think I want to do the 90% of rooms. This is our party. Our trinkets and everything are all set up. Let me know if you enjoyed this one with comments or thumbs up. I enjoyed it. A lot of fun. We'll rename some of these people um, when we come back in in the next one. And I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Check out the rest of the channel. Consider subscribing if you've not already. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. You have a good afternoon.
and take care.